This is me. That's Elena. I'm grinding this girl at a club. By major fluke, there's Elena. She says, hey. And then I say, whoa, hey. And it's awkward because I'm grinding this girl, right? And uh, very unexpected. I did not, you know, I did not plan for her to, by major fluke, show up. And I was drunk. I'm at a club. Why not? Did not plan for her to run into me, you know. Uh, so dancing away, uh, and, uh, she steals the spotlight because she is so beautiful. So I'm like, whoa, sorry, baby. Uh, you and I, uh, let us dance. And danced we did. Yes, sir -y. And then I thought she was being shy. Go away, wasp. Uh, she said, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends now. I say, okay. Promise to come back for more dancing later? Yeah, I promise. And I'm like, huh. Well, she promised to continue dancing with me later. Okay. Uh, hey, baby, what's up? Yeah. Uh, so. Next thing you know, I see her with... Uh, some random guy. And I'm like, well, it is later now. She promised to dance with me later. Later is now. Bye-bye. Uh, oh. So, and then I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, we are in an open relationship, but ditching me your lover of four years and best friend to uh, flirt with random douchebags? I, that's insulting. I mean, yeah, we are in an open relationship, but we are not in an open best friendship. So, you know, and we were like, as long as we love each other the most, we can do whatever. Uh, so, yeah, open relationship, that's still insulting. We were dancing, it was like our second dance ever. Ditches me to flirt with some random guy. His arm is around her shoulder. And I'm like, yeah, that's so uncool. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know, I'll, uh, uh, I'll show him that she's taken. Hey, uh, later is now. Let's uh, go dance some more. And then I was showing intimacy, showing the guy that she's taken. Go away, she's mine. Shoo fly, shoo. And you can steal girls away from guys at clubs as long as they allow you to. And I thought she would. I thought she would understand. I was drunk. It was noisy. Giant misunderstanding. It is now raining. Very annoying. So, you know, I thought, you know. And so, there I am, uh, showing intimacy. And then he would be like, whoa, she is taken. Uh, okay, whoops. Or she could have been like, well, I'm gonna go now, bye, and then, you know, we frolic away and uh, do some more dirty, uh, dirty dancing, yep. Uh, but that's not what happened, no. 
I'm like, you know, hey, let's uh, come on. And I'm, you know, subtly nudging her a little bit, kind of. I'm like, come on, let's let's go and, you know, come on, dance some more. And just showing intimacy for the guy to go away. And then, and, you know, subtly kind of moving, I mean, or trying, just guiding her, trying to guide her away very subtly. I thought she would listen, you know, I thought she was being shy, got to motivate her to get her out of her shell. Uh, she, did she say go away? Did she indicate, did, did she, she just, no, no, she stood there and did nothing. She did not tell me to go away. She did not push me to go away. She did not say no. She said nothing. She just stood there. I was so confused. Why are you not moving? Uh, yeah. Now, if she did say no, or if she did say anything, I heard nothing. It was noisy. I was drunk. I was confused. This all happened in about five seconds. Yeah. I'm like, come on, let's, let's, let's go dance some more. Get away from that random guy. That's insulting. Next thing you know, the bouncers come, you know. Yo, you gotta get out of here. Yep. Time for you to go, buddy. And I'm like, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. You know, and then I got like thrown on the ground and they were like choking me. <laughs> they were just watching, entertained, her and this random stranger. Yeah, not cool. So, uh, I went batshit insane. <laughs> Taxi to her house. <laughs> Climbed over her gate. <laughs> Still really drunk, uh, and then I pounded on her door, and she opened the door, and she let me inside eventually. Uh, so did I trespass, break and enter? Well, was my existence unwanted? No, because she did open the door for me and let me inside. Okay, uh, anyways, so, and then I'm like, Okay, uh, what the hell just happened? Uh, and then she said, I was on a date. So that was a date. Why did you not tell me? I did not want to upset you. Uh, but we were, we are in an open relationship. And, uh, you saw me grinding that girl. So why is it that I am allowed to grind girls in front of you, but you're not allowed to uh, bring dates to a club if I happen to be there by major fluke? Why would I get upset? Why would I stand back and analyze the situation? You had a date? It was illogical. I wouldn't, it was just, so then what else? What, you randomly hate me? So I'm gonna think you're being shy, and you were acting shy. How about speak up, say no, go away, I'm on a date, while simultaneously pushing me away. Everything you did was so subtle. You were so quiet. I don't think you even said, it, said anything. You didn't do anything, you just stood there. Yeah, assault and battery, you're all over me. I thought you were being shy. We are in an open relationship. I was subtly trying to move you away, thought you were being shy, tried to motivate you to get you out of your shell. I had no idea what the hell was going on. You were the only only one of all the answers. Well, um, um, all my, uh, you embarrassed me in front of my date and all my friends. Uh, you were by yourself with that guy. No, I was surrounded by my friends. Well, I never met your friends before. I thought they were all strangers. I thought you were by yourself with this random guy. You were surrounded by your friends. I thought they were just ra random. I, I, I didn't know they were. I thought, I mean, I've never seen your friends before. I thought 
You were in the middle of nowhere with this guy. You were with your friends too. I, I never met him before. How am I supposed to know? And that guy was your date? I didn't know. I didn't know. So, giant misunderstanding. And guess what? Your friends and your date thought I was the random guy. I thought he was the random guy. I was drunk. Were you drunk? No. You were the one with all the answers. Salt and battery. I did not know. Lack of knowledge. So, uh, I, I, uh, so, well, guess what? Uh, no more penis for you. That's it. We're just going to be friends now. Because of that whole incident, all you had to do was communicate. Due to your severe lack of communication, anything beyond friendship does not work. So, no more penis for you, just friends. I do not want that club thing to happen ever again. No! <clears throat> no! No! Why don't you want to fuck me? Am I ugly? We've been friends for so long. Who cares? Wah, wah. I want your forbidden penis. Wah, wah. Why don't you want to fuck me? Wah, wah. Am I ugly? Wah, wah. Ah, uh, I just... You know, you're not being nice, and anything beyond friendship does not work. No, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, come on, fuck me. And I'm like, no. Okay, um, oh, darn it. Well, what do I do now? I want his penis. Well, I mean, I want every other penis as well. Um, I want every penis, um, including his. What do I do? Hmm. Um, um, I know. I will lie. That is what I will do. Okay. I promise just you and I, no one else, I don't even want to kiss other guys. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Good. Now I can have his forbidden penis while continuing to secretly have every other penis on this planet. Alright. And he won't suspect a thing. Woohoo! I'm gonna dive in a pool of penises, including his. Alright! And then I'm still like, nope, 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 nope. Wah! <laughs> Wah! But, but I promise! Wah! And then I'm like, uh, okay, fine, but just you and I, no one else. Cool, cool, you, you mean your promise? Yeah, yeah, just fuck me. Uh, very well. I'm trusting you. Hopefully, like, <laughs> I don't want any more bullshit. Then her mom comes out of nowhere. La, 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 la. And then I'm like, dear, dear, we will have to resume this another day. Uh, yeah. So, uh... Okay, uh, bye-bye. And then, uh, hmm. The troll. Let's see, who's the troll? Alright. Alright, so then a troll comes and visits my YouTube channel. Yo, man, look at that. It's the Game Dude's YouTube channel. Oh, what is this? It is a link. Oh, look, it is tagged a dating site, and Game Dude is on it. Interesting. He only has one friend. Interesting. Hey, look, it is Olenia. Well, I remember her. She reviewed God of War and Bioshock. Well, the box art for those games. How interesting. Her videos were on his channel. Uh, hmm, everyone uh, knows that she is his girlfriend. Hey, I'm going to test her loyalty to Game Dude. 
This is gonna be fun. Uh, hmm. Uh, want to make out? <laughs> She's not gonna reply. Okay. Uh, huh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Wanna make love in my house after coffee this Friday? That is only two days away. <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna reply. No way. Okay. Ha ha, very funny. She's trolling the troll. What's your phone number? Here it is. Uh, huh. Maybe it's fake. Uh, when and where? Starbucks, four o'clock. Huh. How many guys have you fucked in the last four months? One. Huh. How many guys have you, uh, met on, tagged? Two. Interesting. Uh, is, uh, good at giving blowjobs? Nah. Hmm. Fucking anyone at the moment? No. Interesting. Any feelings left for him? No. Huh. Hmm. How many guys gave you an orgasm in the last... ever? Only one. Only one. Game dude. <laughs> oh, how many guys have you fucked? that are hotter than I. Eh, maybe two. Hmm. Babe, tonight I'm gonna be giving you multiple orgasms. What do you think about that? Eh, sounds good. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me screen cap this, send it to Game Dude. Hey, Game Dude! Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Starbucks. Do 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 do. Right, yeah, man. I'm gonna. I can't wait for those multiple orgasms. And this is what she envisioned. Hey, baby, what's up? All right, let's have this coffee. Yeah, cool. Let's go to my house now. All right, ready for those multiple orgasms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that what happened? No, this is actually what happened. Hello, my name is Chris Hansen. I'm with Dateline NBC. Why don't you stay seated for a moment? I wish that's what happened, but this is actually what happened. This ends our friendship. That's what happened. Oh my god, he, he humiliated me in front of all these strangers that I'm never gonna see again. <laughs> He's so uh, abusive. And oh my god, he got upset. He got upset because he thinks I cheated on him. He's so jealous and controlling and possessive. Oh my god. Uh, I, I. And he's the troll. And. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the troll ne never showed up. Uh, probably, uh, yeah, I, I never showed up. Because uh, I, uh, I actually live in uh, South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's see. And then I'm like, ooh, that Alana. Ooh, that naughty, naughty Alana. Maybe it's all a big misunderstanding. Oh, what have I done? What if she thinks I'm the troll? What if she never wants to see me again? What if it is a big misunderstanding? <sighs> okay, I'll call. Maybe I made a big mistake. What have I done? Oh, no. And then I'm calling, calling, calling. She's like, I don't want to talk to him. He's uh, controlling and jealous. 
won't. He, he gets upset because he, 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 he thinks I, I cheated and I didn't. He's so controlling and jealous. Uh, uh, hey, um, uh, uh, who can I? Hey, uh, yo. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm, uh, I'm not the same guy, uh, that put, uh, his arm around her shoulder. I'm a different guy, just so you all know. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, she sees, uh, one million guys simultaneously. Yeah. I look like that other guy, but I'm a different guy. Just so you guys know. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell him to, uh, not talk to me, uh, anymore. Oh, and, uh, tell him that you're my boyfriend. Oh, and tell him that you're gonna fuck me later tonight. That'll, that'll get him to stop calling. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go do that. Yo, Alana don't want to talk to you anymore. Just let me talk to her. Yo, I'm her boyfriend. Uh, I'm her boyfriend. Yo, no, I'm her boyfriend. And I'm gonna fuck her later tonight. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, the, the, oh, he's just joking. <laughs> uh, how do you expect me to believe you? You just shattered the trust. Uh, click. Funny thing is, I really am her boyfriend, and I really am gonna fuck her later tonight. Hua hua hua. Calling. I am calling, 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 calling. Yo, yo, what? Okay, look, look, look. You promised just you and I. What happened? Well, um, I just said that because you were bugging me. Uh, you didn't, you did not mean your promise. I was bugging you by uh, refusing to fuck you? Well, nobody refuses to fuck me and gets away with it. You just promised. Therefore, you lied. Because I was bugging you by refusing. You lied to fuck me. Therefore, did not have my consent. You are a rapist. Anyways, um, wow. Huh. Why were you going to fuck him? Oh, because he asked me to. Huh. Uh, oh, you didn't want to fuck me anyways. Well, I did after we promised, and your mom, in, uh, your mom did interrupt us, and we have not hung out since. Well, I never cheated. We were broken up. We promised that put us in a closed relationship again. Well, I did nothing bad. I wasn't going to sleep with him. Please, please stop digging yourself in a deeper hole. Next thing you know, you're going to find yourself in China. And we all know how much you hate the Chinese people, which is really dumb. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. All right, let's let's kick some uh, dirt in this giant hole you're, that you keep digging deeper. Uh, you, uh, this is what was gonna happen. Had the guy been real? Yo, what's up? You were gonna be like, I, um, uh, I'm not re really going to fuck you. I just said that I would just to meet you. Sorry. Oh, well, that sucks. Either that would, either that would have happened or this. Uh, 
Ready to fuck, babe? Ready for, for those multiple orgasms? Yeah, just a second. I just gotta uh, uh, use the washroom quickly. Okay. Alright, let me text Alex. Yo, Alex! Yo! Yo, I'm gonna fuck this guy. Okay. Hey, part of our agreement. We'll inform each other if we wanna fuck someone else. Cool? Go have fun. Alright. Alright, multiple orgasms. Yeah, yeah. Uh. So there you go. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Did you, uh ever, uh, you know, say that you were going to do, uh, either of those two things? No. Uh, I mean, it's kind of weird. I'm doing the work for you. I'm excusing your, I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm making, now I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, um, hmm. Excusing your behavior for you. It's, it's kind of weird, okay. But I don't want to uh, believe that you really are a lying, cheating whore. So you did not make those excuses. You never said, but could maybe. But you know, after further analysis, I'm sorry, you, you just said too much bullshit. Uh, had you, you know, lied to the troll just to meet him, or you were going to text me that you were going to fuck him just before fucking him, you would have told me. You did not. You said too much bullshit. But you know, at the time, I was stupid. You gave you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, maybe big misunderstanding. And then, yeah, so at the time, I thought it was all my fault, and I wanted you back. Okay. Alright. So, uh, hello? 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 Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. <laughs> Come on. Yo. The fuck? Yo, it's the police. Uh, what the hell is going on here? Uh, never talk to Alana again. Forever. Huh. <laughs> and, you know, I live a 10 minute walk away from Alana, so I run into her, and uh, I'm like, okay, 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 forever, um, actually, um, five months, uh, but the police just said forever, well, it's my choice, not his, uh, but you told him to tell me forever. I, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, fine. Five months. Can we make it one month? And eventually down the road she was like, fine. And then eventually down the road, yo, I have a new girlfriend. Yeah, new girlfriend. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. no you don't. No you don't. Um, 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 okay, fine, we'll hang out next week, but you have to bring her and dump her right in front of me. Uh, uh, splash her coffee in her face. Ha, 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 Uh, okay. Yeah, oh, um, uh, by the way, uh, we can only be just friends. But you don't want to fuck me. I'm ugly. Wee, wee. What if I want to be more than just friends? Oh no, not this again. Wee, wee. You know, this is really interesting. Because, um, due to the fact that she still wants to fuck me, and the fact that she lied to fuck me, had I never seen that conversation, do you know what would have happened? know what would have happened. And had that guy been real, this is exactly what would have happened. Yeah, yo, multiple orgasms. And I just want to quickly say that her tag profile has about 10, 11,000 profile views. And I thought, and if all it takes 
is just for you to say sex with a question mark at the end and then she'll say okay and how many guys do that how many guys are just like the sex a lot 10,000 profile views and she'll just say okay and you are the worst guy in the world rude so if you are going to eat the worst apple in the, if you are going to eat the worst apple in the barrel you are going to eat all the apples in the barrel it is common logic therefore you are willing to fuck anyone immediately all he has to do or she if you know you yeah is ask you that is it that's yeah yeah anyways uh multiple orgasms all right and then yo what's up loyal girlfriend whom will only fuck me and nobody else because you promised are you ready yep all right and then she's like, all right, forbidden penis, all right, Forbid forbidden penis on the side of every other penis on this planet. And then some other guy, you know, yo, uh, let's do it on a pool table. Sup, loyal girlfriend. Yo, let's uh, do it in the sky in a parachute. Yo, what's up, loyal girlfriend? Uh, yo, let's um uh, do it in the ocean. All right, yeah. Yo, loyal girlfriend. I have an STD. I have an STD. You have an STD. You have an STD. And you don't even know. What's up, loyal girlfriend? My clean, loyal girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is what would have happened. And uh, eventually, I would get every single STD ever. Uh, yeah. So, uh, she lied to fuck me, therefore did not have my consent, therefore rape and uh oh uh the lie has to come with a uh, harmful risk did it oh yes it did because i just got every single std ever so and yeah yeah anyways uh so you know uh then uh yeah, she's like, yeah, next week, but you have to bring your girl, but you have to bring your new girlfriend. So, next week goes by. Um, uh, is I, uh, I can't hang out with you right now because I have a cold right now. I have never used that excuse before. But right now, and only right now, by major fluke, the exact time that I'm supposed to hang out with you, I am sick of the cold. Subtext, I never want to see you again, but I'm not going to say that because I don't want to upset you. Or maybe the subtext is I just need a bit more space. Either I just need a bit more space or I never want to see you again. It's one or the other. I'm not going to tell you which one I'm you know I'm gonna you know fuck with your mind uh so yeah uh yeah I'm sick uh had I not been sick uh then yeah you would ha still have to bring your new girlfriend if you do not bring her I'm not gonna hang out with you sorry but I am sick so even if you do bring your new girl girlfriend sorry because I have a cold right now yeah she's gone forever it's as if she's dead. She killed me by uh, cheating on me and all that shit. 
she killed me, and then she died. Huh. And now I'm stuck in her area. Blah, everything reminds me of her. Blah. <laughs> Pure hell. Pure hell. And what happens? I run into her at 11 o'clock at night by her house. Now I'm like, <clears throat> yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? I'll call you later. I'll call you later. And I'm like, and the subtext was always like, I never want to see you again. She was totally avoiding me, right? And now, um, it's 11 o'clock at night. So if she was like, oh my god, you're stalking me. Oh my god, look at you waiting outside my house for hours. Oh my god, stalking me. Well, that is rather illogical. 11 o'clock at night when you supposedly have a cold and you should be, you know, sleeping. And part of me believed that you were telling the truth. So 11 o'clock at night, it's cold. That's a good time to stalk you, you know, wait for you by your gate when you should already, and even if you weren't sick, you usually go to sleep at 10, so 11, um, why, that's, why would I stalk you at 11 o'clock at night, cold, you should have a cold, you should be sleeping regardless, no, I was walking past, or no, from Shoppers Drug Mart, and then ran into you, major fluke, uh, I ran into you again the following morning, Two major flukes in two days in a row. If you don't believe me, go fuck yourself. Because I never lied to you before. Anyways, so following morning. And, uh, so, you know, I was walking from Culprit, got my hot chocolate. And then, so, yeah, this is what happened. Alright, let's, so, yeah, hot chocolate, alright click. Holy fuck. That sounded like a gate closing. Oh fuck. It's Alana. Well, um, she, okay, if she's, it'll just look bad if she sees me, because she'll assume that I'm stalking her. It is a fluke, but convincing her two major flukes in two days in a row, she's not gonna buy it. It's the truth. I know it's the truth. Can I convince her? It'll be too hard. Um, I want my answer so badly. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll hide behind this tree. I don't want her to see me. Ooh, but I want my answers. But I don't want her to see me. But I want my answers. I, want her to... <laughs> I don't know what to do. What do I do? I don't want my answers. I don't want her to see me. <sighs> oh, wow. <laughs> and then, uh, she's like, well, psychopath, because, you know, from her perspective, I must have been hiding behind, like, this tree for hours, waiting for her to come out. You know? Wow, wow. Yeah. Is that what happened? Uh, no. No. Uh, in fact, the whole tree thing, I don't even, I mean, I don't think I fully hid back. I mean, it was, my memory is a bit foggy. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I was being all indecisive and uh, whatever. But I did later on try to explain to her what actually happened. I don't think she believed me. But whatever. Uh, so yeah, kind of just, it was like this tree. It was just very, it was so weird. Like, and the thing is, I mean, okay, uh, the thing is, um, she goes to school, I mean, like, she sh usually starts class at 9.30 a.m. It was 10.15 a.m. Why wasn't she already at school? So if I was stalking her, why would I stalk her after the time she should already be? be at school. She had uh, classes that started a bit later. I didn't fucking know. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense because that I would run into her because um, I went for that hot chocolate 
after I thought she would already be at school, I was like, well, uh, it's past 9.30. I can't run into her. Uh, I mean, two, uh, you know, tw uh, twice in two days in a row by major fluke. She ain't going to buy it. So, yeah, I'm not going to run into her. It's past 9.30. She should already be at school. Cool. All right. It's hot chocolate. Click. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, she's not already in school. I and I mean, like, I was dying. I wanted my fucking answers. I wanted my fucking answers. But at the same time, now is not a good time. She's gonna think I'm stalking her, so I can't let her see me. So I hide behind this tree uh, bush. I, I don't know. It was something. Fuck. I. Uh, and I, then I was just being all indecisive. I was just. I mean, like, and I didn't have to like. I mean, I was standing the entire time, so. It was just like very much just like eh, 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 eh. answers. She'll think I'm stalking. Answers stalking. Answers stalking. Answers stalking. And it all, it all happened in like uh, five seconds. Five seconds. I and and like if she catches me hiding behind a tree, that would be even creepier. So I, I was just startled. I didn't know what the fuck to do. So I just was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna, because I don't want her to catch me hiding, so fuck it, I want my answers, fuck it, fuck it, maybe she'll listen, believe me later, whatever, and then she was like, wow, you psychopath, right, and then uh, she was walking fast, now, maybe she's walking fast to get away from me, Maybe she's walking fast because she's fucking late to school. What am I going to believe? Late to school. Did she say, go away? No, nope. she called me a psychopath, but she never said go away. And she was communicating, kind of. So, you know, I was like, so we're walking. Fuck, stop falling down, you assholes. Walking, walking. Wow, what's going on? Wow, left me in the dark. Wow, why aren't you, why aren't you talking to me? <laughs> I'll call you later. Subtext. I never want to see you again. And I'm like, oh, but maybe. Uh, 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 uh. And I'm just like hoping maybe I'm misunderstanding everything. Maybe she really was sick. Maybe she's late. You know, uh, late for school. I mean, the last time we vocally spoke. She was bugging me, wanted to, like, fuck me again, and so it was illogical. The transition, did she just randomly change her mind? It was so confusing. And again, extreme lack of communication. So, yeah, may maybe, maybe I'm misreading her. Maybe there was no subtext, I never want to see you again. I don't fucking know. So I was getting emotional, because my heart was saying she's gone forever. She's gone forever. My mind was like, maybe it's a big misunderstanding. Heart, gone forever. Yeah. So, uh, walking. Then I step in front, put my hand out like a stop sign. Stop. Let's just talk for a while. And then she said, well, I have to go to school. And then I'm like, well, maybe she's late. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm still walking with her. Wow, wow, wow. And then I just become a pathetic crybaby because it was as if she's gone forever, she's dying, I'm never gonna see her again. This is it, this is goodbye forever. So, crying, I hugged her. I love you, I'm sorry. And I thought, now, uh, when I stopped her, when I was like, stop, is it possible? that she would have stopped and talked. Yes. Stop, let's just talk. Okay, fine, I just need more time. So, that, that, that's it, I just need more time. Okay, okay, cool, cool. That, I just wanted to, you, I was left in the dark, I just wanted some light. Then I hugged her crying, I'm sorry I love you. Is it possible that she would have hugged me back and then would have been like, oh, it's okay, I love you too, I just need more time. Yes, 
Unfortunately, she did not because she is a heartless, evil bitch. So she just stood there, did nothing, said nothing, and then some other guy was like, Well, if she loves you, she'll come back. Let her go, man. And then I was crying simultaneously. simultaneously. <laughs> yeah. So it is possible that she whispered, let me go. But due to my voice and his voice, you know, she whispered, let me go. It was drowned out. And look, look where my eyes are. Look where her lips are. So could I have... Uh, read her lips? No. So she, you know what? She said nothing. It's bullshit. Like, say it loud and clear. Say no. Or say first, say let go. Loud and clear. I would have been like, whoa. Whoa. Then say no. Go. Or just, no, she, she, okay, this is what she should have done. How about this? Let go. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Oh, okay. And then, don't follow me. And then I would have been like, whoa, okay. Wow, thank you for leaving me with more questions, but okay. Bye. Loud and clear. Or simultaneously pushing me away while saying let go. Let go. Boom. Done. Clear. Okay. Don't follow me. Okay, done. Instead, she did not do that. She just stood still, emoting me to go away. Maybe I don't know. She was so fucking hard to read. So I don't even. I don't even know if she was doing that. I was confused. So, and then I realized. So you are not going to hug me back. And then I let go once I realized that she was not. So. I mean, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I thought our friendship was reviving. So, I let go, and then I just let her walk away. And then... Stupid me, stupid me, I am so stupid. I got the saxophone out, and I memorized uh, The Scientist by Coldplay, a song that she really likes and a song that I really really like uh, yeah memorized that song in about one hour uh, so I was like like all right I'm gonna play this song for her melt her heart do something big like in the fucking movies that'll make her talk because I'm all fucked in the head right I'm all just like what do I do I want my answers I don't want her to be gone forever. I gotta do something big, very big. Uh, hmm, yeah, memorize uh, Coldplay. Uh, no, fuck. <laughs> the Scientist by Coldplay on my saxophone. And I did it in one hour. One hour. So then, and I was like, yeah, I, I don't know. So then, yes, third time was not a fluke. I waited, shut up, you fucking crows. I waited by her house for about 20 minutes. Stalking, I, I guess, but I was, you know, thought it would be okay, you know, do something big, melt her heart, I don't fucking know. So, and she came back from school, and I couldn't even play the fucking song because I was too nervous. It was all fucked up. It was all fucked up. <sighs> Walked away from me, and then I was just like, <laughs> Because, I mean, I was so confused. What the fuck is going on, you know? And then I was being embarrassing, acting like a crybaby, you know. Held her hand. She threw it away. Uh, and then she just stopped. She could have kept walking. Walked back. Walked back to her house. I wouldn't have stopped her. So why just, just walk back to your house? Yeah, I would have followed you. But not, I mean, not past your gate. Uh, so walk back to your house. I, I, you know, I wasn't going to stop her. But no, she just kind of just stopped and was like, oh, I'm going to call the police. Grab the phone away from her. And then she's like, oh, give the phone back. I'll call you today at 9 o'clock. So I gave it back to her. I said, I'm calling my mom. 
Rome, Alex is here. And then fucking, ugh, such a mommy's girl. Like, she needed her mom to rescue her. But what, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't trying to, like, she just walked back to her house. I wasn't trying to stop her, so I, I don't fucking know. Mom comes, and they're both like, la la, and I'm like, la la. And then, uh, so, and then just before they uh, go back in their uh, home, she says, it's over. I never want to see you again. And then I'm just like, la la la, fall to the ground crying. I just want to die. And then she says, then die. And then it's like, now's the chance to escape. <laughs> yeah, it was pathetic. Oh yeah, oh, 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 oh yeah. I uh, like so um. So I, I because I was like acting like a pathetic crybaby, I deserve to die. Interesting. Very interesting. And then she even said, like before, she was like, uh, you know, a little, a little, a little. A little while before she she said I hate you uh, you know hate is nothing but inverted love you know that right yeah yeah well uh, I hate you too babe anyways um, uh, so yeah then uh, she sent me an email Alex I want to move on I can't see you anymore and that nice time to you know like how no compassion no guilt for cheating what the and if that wasn't enough, oh, and uh, 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 talk, uh, no, 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 this is what actually happened first, then a phone call from the police, you know, two days later, okay, I sent her an email, I'm like calling her out on all of her bullshit, I'm like, you are manipulative, you lied to me, blah, 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 criticizing, 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 very angry, it wasn't a coincidence that after, I mean, the same day I sent her that email is the day that she filed the police report and then called the police again. Yeah, she, I made her angry because I called her out and then she retaliated by doing that, like for revenge or something. So, yeah, called the police and then, uh, yeah, and then, like, so, like, then the police a second time Never talk to Alana again. And I'm like, la, 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 la. And then she's like, yo, talk to the police or he might get a restraining order against you. And I'm like, la, 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 la. Like, I never want to, like, like, what the fuck? Okay. Then die. I never want to see you again. Police, never talk to Alana again. Then she's like, restraining order. Fuck. Stop it. Have a fucking heart. You... So, I don't know. So, then I'm trying every trick in the book to win her back. All of these psychological tricks. But I'm, yeah, I was overdoing them. I was just being a fucking retard. Yeah, I'm like, you know, it's all your fault. I feel bad and apologize then uh, we can resolve everything. Or I was like, I'm sorry, I feel bad. And then we can talk and resolve everything. Or I'm happy without you, uh, get jealous, then we'll talk and resolve everything. You know what I mean? All these psychological tricks, fucking, or using logic. The, you are the source of all my uh, reactions. I thought you cheated on me. I couldn't help but overreact. I couldn't help it using logic, you know. Uh, then she would, you know, be like, uh, "Oh, um, I understand." Uh, and then we talk everything over and then resolve everything, you know. My objective uh, was uh, convince me that you did nothing wrong or apologize.
That's all I wanted her to do. Andorra convinced me that I did many things wrong. And the thing is, um, she did. Like, after the police a second time said, don't talk to her ever again, she was still talking to me. You are sick and twisted. No wonder uh, Sam hates you. Uh, 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 yeah, the girl I was dating, uh, her name is Sam, and uh, I hate her too. Yeah, so, uh, and that's the, yeah, and then, you know, she got jealous, and then, like, afterwards, you know, things didn't work out between Sam and I, so that ended, and then she was, so, you know, the same girl that she was jealous of, then she was like, yeah, no wonder she hates you. Yeah. Uh, you're sick and twisted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, she was like, oh, assault um, has a different definition in the civil and criminal law. Um, intentional creation of an apprehension of fear, minimal contact, voluntary consciousness, uh, perceive that contact might ensue. Uh, blah blah, emoting to be left alone. Actually, she wasn't saying that. Some stupid ass lawyer was. But um, so, but and then she was she was still willing to communicate. So, and then you know, and then like, and then I'm like, look, 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 look. Hey, uh, look, look at look what everyone else is saying. Everyone else is saying I never assaulted you. Everyone else is saying you cheated. You are wrong. Now, are you convinced? Did I convince you? Hmm? No, no. Instead, she calls my mom. And, uh, she's like, Alex is spreading internet rumors about me and sending me long, insulting messages. And then he assaulted me several days in a row. And then, like, and like, oh my god. And I'm just like, long criticizing emails. I never spread rumors about you. I was trying to convince you that you are wrong. I hid your identity. What the fuck? How did you twist that around like that? Assaulted you several days in a row? Did he mean stalk you several times in a row? Or assaulted you... Or mean, no, or do you mean stalk you several days in a row? Or assaulted you several times in a row? Like, what do you... Did you make a typo several days in a row? What the fuck are you... What do you mean? I hugged you. I thought you were going to hug me back. It, what the... So... I was so fucking confused. So, you know... And then, ta and then I'm just like, you know... So then I made these lip sync videos. Uh, one of them... Uh, was that Rick Astley never gonna give you up uh, song? So I uh, I Rick ruled Alana. Yeah, I, I I Rick ruled Alana. But at the same time, I mean, she doesn't know that I Rick ruled her. It, but anyways, at the same time, dedicated that video on this John Lennon song. Dedicated them both to her. Didn't make them for her. I dedicated them to her. I I don't know. And then, so, then she was talking to my title card artist, who sent the, the Rick Astley, the Rick Astley one to her. Uh, yo, what do you think of this uh, video? Rick Gay is so screwed up. <laughs> and just like, I don't know. So, and then, tennis lessons, UBC, coincided with her classes. And I ran into her, and then I was pissed. I was like, you are spreading false accusations about me, spreading lies. Don't follow, follow me onto the bus. She's like, what the hell? Calls her mom. Mom, Alex is here. And then at the last second tries to hop on the same bus, but she failed. So, just, yeah. And then, so, then what happened? Uh, and what did happen? A lot of like it just got stupider, stupider. I was trying to make peace, apologizing, you know. So I did the no contact rule, and then just. And the thing is, like, every now and then when I would run into her, she would be smiling, 
awkwardly were laughing. Like once I ran into her and she laughed. Another, another time she was smiling awkwardly. She's so confusing. And then like she would talk like a little bit like the once so I was like, hey, she's like, hi. I'm like, how are you doing? Good. How were your your how were your exams? Good. You know, and just so I don't know. And then like I I gave her a I sold all my gains, bought her a diamond ring, gave it to her, wrote her a, a, an apology letter, handwritten apology letter, gave it to her in person, you know. And then, so, like, I was apologizing out the ass. I wanted peace. Peace. I did the no contact rule. I called her, stay the hell away from me. And then I got drunk. Tried, and then, you know, I tried to end the nightmare by uh, taking a bunch of uh, Advil tablets. Yeah, about 10. I don't think I tried to... I think I, I tried to try because I was at 10 and part of me knew it wouldn't be enough. So, I don't know. I was fucked up. Anyways. Um, so, uh, yeah. And then, you know, I'm minding my own business. You know, because, yeah, yeah, I'm at coffee shops a lot because I want to be, you know, it's my area too. Sitting on, sitting on a bench in free Wi-Fi. You know, make talk on Skype as loud as I want to be. Free Wi-Fi, nice weather. Bring outside food, or you don't have to buy any food at all. Coffee shops you have to like buy something, right? So I'm minding my own business. Doesn't matter if I fucking pitch a tent outside. Like it's my area too. Mind your own fucking business. Doesn't matter if I pitch a tent outside and I'm in there 24/7. Mind your own business. I said I'm not stalking you, and then I mean I did. Like at the beginning, I did I did a little bit, so then she assumed that I always was. Yeah, at the beginning, but not always. So okay, my bad, because I did in the beginning. By default, she'll assume I was always stalking her. Whatever, I still told her I'm not, and I even said, if you don't want me to walk past your house, because sometimes your house is in the middle of a shortcut, you let me know, and then I will respectfully reroute. Did she let me know? No. Anyways sitting down minding my own business you know on YouTube and then I look up she's right in front of me I'm like holy fuck she's like you're stalking me you're looking for me and I'm like yeah I was look I was looking for you so hard that I did not see you standing right in front of me you know it's just like I'm like no I'm not I can do whatever I want in my own area she's like and then I go to defend myself. And then I say, you know, and before I, I said, you assaulted me, you hit me six times, scratched me, dug your nails into me, tried to pull me inside a taxi, bit me. That was a long time ago. And then I was also like, you uh, stalked me two cities away. That was a long time ago. And then she's leaving and then I go, like, and then she's like still like, and the second I go to defend myself, she's like, don't follow me. And then I'm like, like imagine like her coming out of nowhere, like just drop kicking me in the face. And then she's like, don't follow me. And then I'm like, darn it. She had to say that. I wanted to defend myself. Now I can't. Fuck. Uh, so, like, I, yeah. And then, like, then, like, every now and then, her mom would come out of nowhere. Hey, you're in my area. Hey, how can we skip those two buses? You know? And then every now and then, I would just see her leering at me. Like a fucking hawk. You know? Not cool. No. I was trying to make peace. I even said to her, I was like, look, let us sit down over coffee and donuts and talk everything over so that we can continue to peacefully live in the same area. Cool? Cool? No? No, 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 no.
so then you know I'm walking it's night time walking 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 I'm blowing my nose allergies you know next thing you know I hear a voice ew that's disgusting and I'm like what the fuck I look up and who do I see Alana McKenzie right in front of me just standing there waiting looming from the darkness and I'm all star startled I'm like what the fuck it was 10 o'clock at night I'm like why are you just standing there what is going on and then she kept insulting me <laughs> and the second I go to defend myself but the, uh, ooh, uh, she's like don't follow me and then I'm like no fuck you you're not playing that fucking game I'm gonna defend myself and then I'm like you are walking the same direction I'm walking and then like what the fuck so you know and then like her house was very close so I was like leave me alone I apologized for everything show some fucking well I never swore show some respect right she's like no you leave me alone and then her mom with her fox ears comes out of nowhere get inside the house like I'm some kind of you know serial killer so and then I said were you going to sleep with him and she said nothing her lips were quivering quivering lips quivering lips which basically means yes I was going to pogo fuck him for those multiple orgasms yeah anyways next thing you know police up my ass <laughs> and I say you tell her to leave me alone and then uh, I was like do you want to hear my story and wait I think they said that they were going to tell her to leave me alone I don't remember I think I told them to tell her to leave me alone did they did they not I don't know but I told them anyways they uh, then they were like uh, then I, I was like you want to hear my side of the story and they said no because you're not gonna tell us where you live and I'm like I don't want to tell you where I live I don't want police up my fucking ass in my house and they were like yeah so it's like yeah and then yeah they fucked off the next day minding my own business different cops come yeah <laughs> Uh, the, the, and like this is the next day, right? And then they were saying, did you talk to Alana today? Not yesterday, today. Because we got, uh, uh, a complaint that you talked to her today. And I'm like, no, I did not. And I'm thinking, wow, is she lying to the police now? That's fucked up. And I'm not going to think that the police are lying to me. I did not know that police can lie. So I'm like, she's lying, so... Like, no, that, 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 that's, I, I did not see her. And then they were like, well, we got that complaint. Now you guys tell, now you have to tell us where you live or we are going to arrest you. So now looking back, they lied to trick me into believing that I, you know, they wanted an excuse, you know, uh, tr trick me into believing that I had to give them my address or I will be arrested. I, I don't know. But you know, looking back, yeah, they lied because, you know, that complaint was nowhere to be found in the particulars so I yeah so then I I was like all right fine that's where I live and then they were like okay and then I'm like wow now Alana's lying to the police this has to stop it's my area too so I told her look stop lying to the police stop all this nonsense stop you know, or I didn't say stop lying. To the, I just said stop calling the police. Uh, 
And then, like, yeah, like, I wanted the fucking nightmare to end. So I said, stop, or I'm going to send that tag conversation to all of your friends. Threat? Yes. But it was justified. Because the police weren't doing shit. She wa I told her to leave me alone. She didn't listen. I don't know if the police told her to leave me alone. I don't know, but she didn't listen to me or the police. She, well, and then she's, like, lying to the police. You had to stop. I have, I have the right to, you know... I, I have the right to live peacefully in my own area, so it was a justified threat. I just, I just, I, and I, you know, I... Did she listen? No. Did I uh, send the tag conversation to all of her friends? No. Part of me wants to, but I, I don't, I don't want to sink myself down to her level anyways. Uh, so... She did, not, she, she did not listen. Instead, the police... Came, you're under arrest. Threw me in jail with this uh, crazy Chinese guy. He was huddled in his uh, t-shirt like a turtle. I felt bad for him. Gave him my apple. Yeah. Anyways, then I got out, and then uh, now I have to go to court. Fun. And now there's there's this giant. Forbidden Square right in front of my house. Is there a giant Forbidden Square right in front of Alana's house? No. In fact, I saw her a few days ago walking very close to my house. I am so pissed off. She makes me want to puke. She makes me fucking sick to my stomach. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, and the whole thing is very unfair. Like, why would you put it in the police? And then I saw the police report. Jealous and controlling because I got upset because I found out that she cheated on me. That doesn't make any fucking se uh, sense. I am jealous and controlling because I found out that she got caught cheating on me. Attempted cheating is still cheating. She cheats, I get upset, I'm jealous and controlling. Does that make sense? Any, any sense at all? No. No siri. So, yeah, on the police report, uh, it's, it says, uh, I, I broke it off. Why? I did. I said this ends our friendship. Because uh, he was jealous and controlling. Why? Because I got upset? Because you cheated on me. And so, I I don't know. I don't know. It's like, she's like, um, well, I can't, like, you know, say that, you know, I broke it off because... I I got upset because he got upset because I cheated on me. Because, <laughs> fuck, I got upset because he got upset that I cheated on him. I'm not going to say that. Uh, I'll make something up. Jealous and controlling. Yeah, that, 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 that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's not going to say the truth. She got upset because I got upset because she cheated on me. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck. And then on the police report... She says, no violence between the two of us, ever, 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 no violence, ever, on the police report, no assault. Uh, and that, I'm like, what the fuck? So, here, here we go. This is, this is what happened. Yo, uh, Alex hugged me. There is never ever been any violence between the two of us. He did hug me. And the police was like, alright, uh, fill out this, let's uh, fill out this police support, yada yada yada, no assault, yada yada yada. Okay, cool. So the police say no assault. She says no violence ever. Ever. And then, uh, but, and she tells my mom, no, she, she tells her mom, Alex attacked me, tells my mom. Alex assaulted me several days in a row uh, right in front of my house. Now, how does that, you know, when you say that, like, what do you picture? This is what I picture, okay? Like, she walks... She walks out of her house, and then, boom, out of nowhere. 
day one. Day two. <laughs> day two. It's not several yet. Day three in a row. All right, there we go. Three days, that's several days. Several days in a row, assaulted. And I'm a man and you're a woman. Whoa! That's, you know, in reality, I hugged her crying, thought she was gonna hug me back, <laughs> like a pet a cry baby. And then she tells me, you know, all these fucking definitions that just don't apply to what actually happened. And then I'm thinking, oh my god, I assaulted a girl, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> so unfair, you know? Of course, just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know? What the fuck? So, and then, and then, you assaulted me. And then tells the police, Man, stand up, you sack of shit. Never any violence between the two of us, ever, ever. So what the fuck? And that is still a lie. Still a lie. There has been a lot of violence between the two of us. Now, I never hit her, but there has still been a lot of violence between the two of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Hitting me, let's see, six times. <laughs> It hurts me more than it hurts you. Self-defense? No, she was just angry. Something stupid. And then once she bit me. Oh, the irony. Uh, Parasaurolophus uh, biting a Spinosaurus. Irony. Scratching me. Digging her nails into me. Trying to drag me inside a taxi. No. You're going home with me. I want your penis. And I'm like, no, I want to go back and say goodbye to my friends. Graduation day. Yeah, you're going home with me. <laughs> Trying to pull me inside. And I said no. So that was assault. And then some guy came out of nowhere. And instead of saying, uh, leave him alone. If he loves you, he'll come back. He says, the girl's crying for you, man. You go with her. The complete opposite. Wow. I I love you double standards so much. Go with her, man. The girl's crying for you. You uh, go with her. Yeah. Yeah. So. So confused. Like, oh my god, the whole thing is just so. Now. 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 So she put on the. So even though I put none of that on the uh, police support, like, I never. I ever filed a police report on her. I could have. Could have gotten a restraining order on her. I'm an understanding, caring kind of guy. I loved her, you know, looked past the bullshit. I didn't put any of that shit on the police report. I hug her, she puts it on the police report. And it's just like, what the fuck? She assaulted me worse, but she put my little hug on the police report. Like, what? I. 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 Just after she cheated on me. Like, this. Like, no, no, that was the time she should have been like, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. <sighs> Instead, it's like, like, what the fuck? It should be the other, the whole scenario, the whole situation. Everything should be the other way around. Me and my big heart looking back, caring, stupid me. So, like the day I said, uh... The day I said, this ends our friendship. Walked out. I never should have looked back. But I did. <laughs> Biggest mistake ever. Ever. I wish I was more. I wish I was heartless. Had I been heartless, I never would have looked back. But unfortunately, I cared about her. Yep. So. <laughs> Look back. Stupid me. Anyways. Shut up, crow. Fucking crows and seagulls and humans. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh. And then she puts in the police support. He followed me. And then like. 
and then I confronted her. You assaulted me. That was a long time ago. You stalked me two cities away. <laughs> that was a long time ago. You know? And then, like, this is what happened, okay, regarding when she stalked me two cities away. Okay? Phase in my life, just wanted everyone to leave me alone, ignoring everyone. Yeah, I was being a dick, whatever, you know, and then, uh, so I, uh, I got a box of video games, I'm going to the video game store to sell them, New Westminster, I go to Sapperton Station, holy fuck, guess who I see, Alana McKenzie, she's like, oh, um, hey, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know, because from Kitsilano in Vancouver, all the way to New Westminster, one entire city away. What are you doing here in Sapperton Station, a SkyTrain station? And then she's like, why are you ignoring me? <laughs> Acting like I did later. <laughs> Acting like a crybaby, like I did later. <laughs> you know, why are you ignoring me? She wanted answers, I left her in the dark. You know, like everything I did to her she did to me later and so like and then when she was the uh, the the victim I, uh, of being ignored you know like it was okay when i was the victim of being ignored and acting upon the being ignored after the coincidental run-ins, not okay. Like, what the fuck? I, I, I don't know. But she was acting like me before anyways. <laughs> You're ignoring me. And then I say, I say, go away. I will talk to you later. I want the entire world to leave me alone. Go away. Go away. I went, I walked inside the sky train she followed me. Yep, right inside the sky train to Columbia Station. One station away. Where I transferred trains. Walked out, walked inside the second sky, sky train, and she followed me. Yep, now we're in the second one. Now we go to Gateway Station in Surrey, two cities away. I walk out. She follows me. Actual following time, 40 minutes. Actual traveling time, one hour and 30 minutes. You know, uh, took an hour and a half from Kitsilano in Vancouver to get to Sapperton Station. And then she followed, followed me for about 40 minutes after finding me. So, and then, you know, and then I was running with the box of video games. Yeah, running, 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 running. And I look back, and there she is right behind, following. And then I sold the video games, and then she was crying. <laughs> You're ignoring me. And then instead of her saying, hey, I just want to die. And then me saying, then die. I was like, I felt bad. I was like, oh, poor baby. Oh, it's okay. I'll stop ignoring you. And then I stopped ignoring her. And then, yeah. And then she stopped stalking me because I stopped ignoring her. Obviously. Now, had uh, she never uh, run into me at Sapperton Station, she would have walked to my house. And maybe I there was a big chance that I would not have been home. Aw, oh, darn it, all this way here for nothing. Hour and a half back, three hours wasted. Or I could have, you know, been home and said, fuck off. And then, darn it, uh, go back, all the way back, three hours wasted. Or she could have just, I don't know, you know what, 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 I pro what probably would have happened? She would have kept Annoying me until I, well, I wouldn't have called the police because I have a heart. Kept ignoring me until I came out and talked to her. That's probably what would have happened now. So, okay. So, now I want, 
Now imagine, imagine that she did not live an hour and a half away. Like, and then in Surrey, she like, at gate, uh, she follow, followed me all over Surrey, a two and a half travel away, no, not two and a half, sorry, a two hour travel away from her house. Two hour transit travel away from her house, transit and walking. She found, she wound up two hours away from her house, tran transit and walking, two fucking hours. Hours. You know, when I was like following her on foot, I was only 10 minutes away from her house and I ran into her by major fluke. She looked for me, then found me, and then I said, go away. And I ran and she still followed me. She found herself two hours away from her house and not two hour travel by walking, two hour, two hour travel by transit and walking. Like, had I, like two hours compared to what, a two minute, uh, I, like if I, like if I took a bus or if I drove to her house from my house, two minutes. So two hours compared to two minutes, uh, a transit, car, and walking, you know, or just pure walking. Let's see, uh, how about, uh, hmm, how long would it take? Kitsilano and Vancouver all the way to Surrey, walking, like two, three days compared to 10 minutes. Two hours, two minutes, three days, uh, 10 minutes. You, so anyways, and this is all due to me just ignoring her. No cheating, just, just, I was just ignoring her. And I stopped ignoring her. Now imagine, imagine I did not stop ignoring her. She was crying and I walked away. Now imagine that she lived a 10 minute walk away from me. So a 10 minute walk away from me. I did not stop ignoring her and I did cheat on her and she was plagued with questions and I was just fucking with her mind, doing everything that she did to me. I imagine I put her in the exact same set of circumstances that she put me in. Do you think that she would have stopped stalking me? No. I asked her, I was like, you stalked me, had you been in, in the set of circumstances that you put me in, you would have done everything the same, maybe even worse. She was like, no. I'm like, you don't know because you have never felt what you made me feel. So you can't know that. It's like, no, no, I, I would have, I would not have. I only stalked you once a long time ago. It doesn't matter that it was a long time ago. You still did it. And it was only once because I stopped ignoring you. L hello, logic. Hello. Just use your brain. So, you know, I'm like, you would have kept stalking me. All right. So don't fucking, don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a fucking hypocrite. All right. You know. Like, you are not being fair at all. You're not being understanding. Where is your fucking heart? Okay? And if I am stalking you, if I am stalking you, it's because I care. I'm calling you a lot because I care. These are actions that people only, only do if they care. When you stalked me, it was because you cared. When you kept calling me a few times, you kept calling me a lot. It was all because you cared. So you being like, you're oh, annoying me, instead of being like, oh, he cares. You're being so self-centered. So, you know, like imagine I never did look back. That would be fucking heartless. Then you should be upset if I'm like calling a million times and showing I, I, that I care. And, you know, just, and like, I mean, okay, if I did something really bad to you and then I kept calling a lot, then yeah, ignore me. I deserve it. But if you do something bad to me and then I can't help but overreact and then you ignore me and I keep calling, showing that I care and you're still ignoring me, fuck you or don't fuck you. Go suck the devil's balls. Yeah, yeah, you know. The whole thing is so fucked. 
And now imagine, you live in my area, everything reminds you of me. Use your fucking brain, okay? Everything should be the other way around. The only reason, uh, you know, why it's not is because I, I, I couldn't help but care, you know? I looked back, you know? Uh, and then I, yeah, I was being, I couldn't help but keep calling and just, and then you, and then every time you said something, you made the whole, the whole thing worse. I just said that because you were bugging me. Uh, I was gonna fuck him because he asked me to. Some guys like, I'm her boyfriend, boyfriend, I'm her boyfriend, I'm gonna fuck her later tonight. It's a, you know, imagine I did not get upset. Had I never gotten upset, that meant, that would have meant I never gave a shit about you. Then you should be upset. Just imagine. Ma imagine, you, uh, I never called. Or I, I did, and then you're like, oh, I just, just said that because you were bugging me. And I'm like, oh, eh, okay, whatever. Oh, I was gonna fuck him because he asked me to. Yeah, fair enough. Some guys like, you know, uh, I'm her boyfriend. Oh, congratulations. I'm gonna fuck her later tonight. Ah, cool. Have fun. Like, I mean, had I done that, is that what you wanted me to do? Now imagine, had I actually done that, then yeah, that, that, that would have meant I never gave a shit about you. Is that better? And you know what she says? She's like, oh, these other guys uh, are annoying. You know why they're not annoying? Because they don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you. I'm annoying because I care. And I still care about her due to whom I thought she was or whom she really was. I hate her because I love her. And she hates me because she loves me. Hate is love. Do you get it? Without the love, there cannot be hate. It's logic. So, uh, yeah, I, I hate her because I she made me care about her. Now, only due to her, you know the past, do I think she's an evil, heartless witch. Yes, and it, it makes it the fact that she made me care about her so much makes the whole situation worse. I never care about her and she did and she did all that shit I would have been like I would have laughed ha 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 wow look at you fucking some guy just like that uh, it would I mean, the conversation is a joke it's funny in fact I think like had I not cared about her I would have laughed my fucking ass everyone else didn't believe the conversation was real it's just like it's funny like something from Mad TV Saturday Night Live you know it's fucked up funny. I Had I not cared about her, I would have laughed. Done. She made me care about her. So it was like, I mean, and yeah, I did still kind of laugh. But once, you know, I stopped laughing, then I felt like shit. It's like a, the, the laugh turned into a cry, you know. I, I saw the, the conversation. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, because I cared. It was, you know, it's funny. Once the laughs are gone, you you feel dead inside. You know, it's just so. Uh, but hate is love. You cannot hate unless there is love. Hate is like just hate is is a defensive emotion. You know, here let me let me illustrate. Okay, that's the love. Uh, and, uh, this is the hate. Hate is a defensive emotion, all right? If there is no love to defend, what is hate defending? Imagine, the hate is a castle, the love is a knight guarding the castle, right? Now, if there is no castle, what, is the knight guarding nothing? Why would a knight guard nothing? Yeah, man. Yeah. See this uh, uh, blank, empty void? I'm going to guard it. And then... Yo! Yo! You, you... No, no way, man. This is my blank, empty void. Fuck off. Fuck off. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Knight's going to guard something the castle. Same with hate. The hate is a defensive emotion. It has to guard something. If not love, what? 
what else? So, you know, now, if there is no love, there is no hate. Because the hate, is it gonna guard nothing? No, hate is love. Or, okay, under hate is love. Hate shields love, hate guards love, hate defends love. And not just love, but hurt love. You know? So, yeah. So, uh, and the fact that she, you know, filled my heart with so much love and then fucking stabbed it with like a, one of those giant ass Final Fantasy swords. It, it's just, it just makes it just that much worse, you know? So there you go, giant, it's a heart filled with so much love, giant sword sticking right through it. Then the hate comes to, you know, just to so that no more swords go through the heart, you know? Yeah, A anyways. Um, and you know, I, I am explaining like everything to her. I'm using logic. She doesn't fucking understand anything. So, being as fair as possible, all I wanted is peace. I wanted peace. Instead, I just got royally fucked in the ass. Yo, man, you want peace? Fuck that, man. Hell no. Hell no. That's what you get for wanting peace. Yeah. Unfucking believable. Really, the entire sage situation is quite unbelievable. And I don't know what else to do. Honestly. So, uh, and I, I feel really, really bad for her. I really do. Because she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. And, um, I think I have enough evidence to get her in some trouble for spreading false accusations. You know, I, I can show the police. Uh, I can show them. Yo, look, look at this. All right, what's going on here? Uh, she's, you know, I, I got all this. I have, here's all the evidence. Why, you know, why is she telling my mom that I assaulted her several days in, in a row, telling you no violence between both of us, which is still a lie because she hit me a million times. And then, you know, and I'll be like, she's spreading false accusations and or falsifying a police report. Hmm, evidence go at work and, but then again uh i don't know they they're all they are all already kind of on her side now so i don't, I don't fucking know I mean, the only reason why they're on her side is because i mean like i could have called them first but i have a heart and i like to talk things over i i don't want to hate like the thing is she never had to get the police involved. I always had bigger reasons to get the police involved than her. I never did, so, and then, you know, and, and then she did, because she did before I talked to them. It is quite unfair. It's like whoever calls the police first will have the upper hand. And then she's a girl. And she's a lawyer. So, yeah. And, let, you know, that's not cool, man. You represent the law. The whole thing is ironic. So much hypocrisy. So many contradictions. Why are you doing this to yourself and to me? Why? We were best friends. We only had each other for the longest time. Like, you're my first date, girlfriend, love, handhold, kiss, fuck, only
only girlfriend, only love, best friend, four years, only friend for a while. Yeah, we were both loners for a while. We both only had each other for a while. And I always, I was always there for you, even when you were pissing me off so much. What? So unfair. The whole thing. The whole thing is so fucked up. I want to fucking cry every fucking day. Now, what I... Now, the thing is... Let's say tomorrow, she runs up to me, Alex, I'm sorry for everything, You wanna know what I would say? Suck my balls, bitch. Suck my balls. Whoop. Yeah, suck em, suck em, suck em. Hell yeah. Because I'm sorry I was being as fair and reasonable as po humanly possible. Either you're stupid or you're evil. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. I tried my best to resolve everything even though you cheated. I've got 10 fucking swords sticking out of me. I'm still trying to make peace. All those swords came from you. You know? Oh, I'm acting weird? Hmm, I wonder why I'm acting a bit weird. Maybe it's because I got 10 fucking swords sticking out of me and all from you. You don't fuck me up and criticize me for being fucked up. That's fucked up. So, you know, trying to reason is just, so you know, you know what? You have your chance. Now, you can go suck my balls. Yeah. Now, uh, the whole thing is just royally. And then, like, I don't get it. I'm like, I give her a diamond ring, handwritten apology letter. And I gave it to her in her sin. And when I gave her the letter, it's not like I was like, yo, take this letter, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You must take it, take it. And I like take duct tape and I, I duct tape the letter on her hand. I'm like, take the letter. It's like, fine, 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 fine. And it's like permanent duct tape. She can't ever get it off, you know? Same with the ring. I did that whole, you know, take the ring. No, 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 no. This is what happened. This is what happened. This is for you. I don't want it. 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 This is to show you that you mean the world to me. That I show uh, 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 um, uh, to apologize for everything. To promise never to hurt you again. To thank you for all the good times. Okay, fine. <laughs> And then, she was like, Don't follow me on the bus. So, uh, then, yeah, then the bus came. <sighs> yeah. And then with the letter, I said, This is for you. And she was like, What the hell is that? And I said, An apology letter. And then, she took it. Hold on. Just drop it. And then she walked away. Now, it is possible that she took the diamond ring and the apology letter so I would go away. But then to say that I forced you to take them and that I, like, forced them into your hand. No. 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 In fact, I think you took them because you wanted them. So, and then with the diamond ring, like, all, like, just keep saying no and go on the bus. Oh, you thought I would follow you into the bus. Okay, fine. But still, it's just, it's just, no, I didn't force you to take them, okay? So fucking stupid. And then, oh, what, you're scared of me? Oh, yeah, so scared that you'll wait for me at night to hurl insults. Yeah, that, 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 that makes a lot of sense. And you're like, what the fuck? Why? Because I'm trying to make peace here, you know? So, and then police. Hello, police. 
yes, I am aware that you told me never to never to talk to Alana again, but she nullified what you said the first time due to the fact that she was bugging me to fuck her again and then uh, planned to hang out with me. So the first time you said don't talk to her ever again, she nullified that. Second time, nullified it again by, uh, uh, you know, talking to me about the whole, trying to convince me that I assaulted her. And then, oh, and then she out of the blue called me an asshole. She's like, why did you... Uh, post that video on a UBC law page. Oh, never mind. I thought it was you. Um, oh, a uh, tell game dude official to uh, take down my videos. Tell him to do that. Yeah. In fact, I ordered you. I order you to do it. <sighs> you know. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. The way she was, it was as if she was ordering me to tell game dude to take down her videos. Just. She was being so rude about it. Yeah, you're treating me like a piece of shit and you want me to do that for you? Suck my balls. And then she was like, take everything you have on me off the internet. I don't have anything of you on the internet. Game Dude Official does. You talk to him. I mean, and then I told him to take the videos down. He didn't listen. Good, I'm glad he didn't listen. But she can't say that I didn't try. Anyways, um... And then she nullified it by taking the ring and letter and then again by coming out of nowhere and insulting me so you know I I'm you know she, like so yeah 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 uh, and oh when the day she was looming from the darkness uh, you know I you know she she talked to me first and uh, yeah and then Someone lied, because I did not talk to her the following day. You know what the police officer would say? I don't know, something fucking retarded. Anyways, um, yeah. So... But, yeah, anyways, um, so that's that. Uh, let's see, hmm. And then, uh... The day, like, just after I walked out of that Starbucks, I went to hang out with Jonathan, and I was being all weird, all emotional, because, well, I just got, I just found out that I got cheated on by my first love of four years. I was being sad. And then Jonathan, he was like, yo, man, I don't think we should be friends anymore. Well, that was very nice. That was the perfect, you know, perfect timing, too. Thanks a lot. Thanks. And why? Why? Because I was just being sad. No loyalty. Go fuck yourself. Wahid. Uh, my money. My money. My money. I never want to see you again. Because you're running away with my money. Uh, you have my games. Uh. 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 uh great. You, so you're not going to ship those games that sold on eBay. Oh, look. eBay and PayPal crashed. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. I just wanted to be left alone for a while because I just found out that I got cheated on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, am I living in hell? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's, uh, I think that's the end of, uh, oh, well, I'll throw in a few. Let's, okay. Let's, Colton, let's, I want to get this off my chest too. One day, he gave me uh, these video game magazines. Oh, uh, thank you. Then he gave me $20. Oh, how generous. Then I found out my, I was like, where are my video game magazines? Huh. Then I found out that behind my back, he took them back because his mom told him to take them back. So, like, we hung out, and then when I wasn't looking, he went through my closet, through all my stuff, took back the video game magazines that he gave me, did it all secretly, and then later on he gave me $20 to compensate for him taking back the video game magazines. That's fucked up. Fucked in the ass. Totally. So, uh, that was that. I don't, like, you gave them to me? They were mine. You took them back behind my back. 
That is theft. So, go fuck yourself. And that was that. And then, oh, I don't know. Stuart and Curtis, get this off my chest too. Friends with them for a long time. They moved away, and then they thought I was talking shit about them behind their back. No. No. So they can go fuck themselves too. Or, and or each other. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Uh, you've got a giant forbidden square right in front of your house now. Oh, great. Right in front of my house. So now when I want to go to the beach, I'll, I will have to go around it. So I, all right, going to the beach, going to go around the perimeter. Not going to go around more than I have to because that would be illogical. Beach. Cool. The next thing you know... So we found you very close to the uh, Forbidden Square. And I'm like, well, that's because you put it right in my, right in front of my fucking house. And if I want to go to the beach, I'll have to go around it. And why will I go around it more than I have to? Ugh. Fucking humans, man. So, you know, it's called logic. Logic. And then, uh, so, and then, uh, then all of these troll, okay, this is what, all right, all right, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, so, well, let's just, so, there's me, I go on Skype, and I'm, you know, telling my story to everyone, freedom of, freedom of speech, suck my balls, uh, yeah. And then next thing you know, the police are like, well, actually, my roommate was like, yo, man, police uh, uh, came, uh, came over, wanted, wanted to talk to you about some phone calls. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is Alana lying to them again? Oh, my God. So then I'm on Skype, and these guys were like, yo, uh, your ex talked to you about some phone calls, and I'm like, you bastards, you know? And then, then I'm sleeping, and then next thing you know, hello, police here. Uh, and they said it as if they were saying, good morning, room service, it was really funny. So I'm like, uh, huh. Uh, they were like, they put handcuffs on me and they were like, explain. Uh, he came with this hot police officer chick. Explain. And I'm like, well, uh, hmm. Well, I told my, because they said that uh, the guys. Okay, fucking stand up, you sacks of... You know what? Fine. Lie down. I don't give a fuck. So, um... So, okay. Alana got, like... I don't know. The trolls... Because I said my story on Skype to everyone, right? Fans, trolls, whatever. Uh, then the trolls, like... Uh, they got... Well, because... Well, I mean, Alana's giving out her phone number to every to everyone. I mean, look at that fucking conversation. Three lines in, you know? So, it's not hard to get her phone number. So, the trolls uh, called her a million times, filled up her inbox. Uh, as funny as it is, and I'm glad they did it. Uh, at the same time, it got me in a lot of trouble, and uh, I had nothing to do with it. Uh, still glad it happened. Anyways, uh, and then the trolls were talking about the diamond ring and stuff, and I don't give a fuck. So, and they were like, duh, they were talking about things only you would know, and I'm like, uh, but I said everything to everyone, so, and you know, it's not hard to get her phone number. All you gotta do is ask, basically, you know. And so, yeah, and that troll had her phone number, and so, 
I'm spreading, I guess. I don't know. I'm spreading my story. Why, why all her phone number is getting spread? So, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I had nothing to do with it. Uh, and, and, then there, and then they gave me back the diamond ring. And uh, he was like, well, Alana uh, uh, doesn't want this diamond ring anymore. And I'm like, good. I'm glad. Because, well, they were the trolls were talking about the diamond ring, and maybe that made her not want it anymore. I don't know. But is it a coincidence that she gave it to the police to give back to me right after the trolls were talking about it? You know? If she really did not want the ring ever, she would have... Because, you know, she, she would have found a way to give it back to me a lot sooner. So And then the police were like, you saw still the diamond ring? Do you want it? And she was like, yeah, not really. So had the police never even said anything, you know? So I'm just proving that I think originally she maybe wanted it. I'm glad I got it back because that lying, cheating whore doesn't deserve it. I would never ask for it back because I don't do that. Anyways, uh, I mean, yeah, I used to do that before take presents back because that was an asshole. But that was before. Now I'll never do it, no matter what. Anyways, uh, so... Then, yeah, and then, so I'm like, I'm telling them, you know, how, how it could have happened. I'm like, yeah, I'm the game dude. Uh, and now that same police officer, actually, he's, uh, he, he calls me game dude now. It's, it's kind of funny. He's like, hey, game dude. <laughs> Anyways, so I told him about my, about my show and then how she had, like, some videos on my channel and just everything and how, you know, how, how it... it you know, I was like, hey, there's an explanation for this. Just hear me out. So I, you know, and then he, then, then he took the handcuffs off. And but the thing is, there was no warrant for my arrest. How the fuck did they get in the house? Apparently the door was unlocked. So that makes it okay. So, hmm. Now, I want you to imagine, I go to a random house. Hey, look, this door is unlocked. I'll go inside. Hey, uh, what's up, everyone? Uh, and they're like, yo, man, what the fuck are you doing here? This is my home. Oh, your door was unlocked. Yo, get the fuck out. Whoa, but your door was unlocked. Get the fuck out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't do that. Okay. Uh, I don't give a fuck if you are... Police, no warrant, do not enter my home. I don't give a fuck if the door is unlocked. I mean, like, what, what next time they're going to be like, well, well um, the, the, the window was unlocked. Oh, you mean the window, you know, at the top story of the house. Oh, there was a, a ladder the, lying around and it, it was not secure. So uh, we took the ladder not secure and uh, put it under the window not secure. And yeah, we do not have a warrant, but we are police, and we can do whatever we want. Suck my balls. So, the whole thing is retarded. Let's go back to, I don't get how she just takes everything. Like, I always only wanted to fix everything, understand everything. She just took everything and made it evil. And then came the day I sent Justin Bieber to sing for her in order to try to win her back. So as Alana walked home, Justin Bieber came out of nowhere. Baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 oh, thought she'd always be mine, mine. And instead of her being like, oh my God, it's just Bieber, oh my God. I have the same voice as him because he's a girl too. Oh my God, Justin Bieber. I forgive him. I forgive him. Oh, Justin Bieber, I'm in love with you. Oh my God. He actually sent Justin Bieber over here to sing apologetic songs for me. Oh, I forgive him. I forgive him. Justin Bieber. No, that's not what happened. This is what happened. Oh my God. What are you doing here? Why are you stalking me? Oh my God. Oh my God, Alex is harassing me through just through Justin Bieber. What are you doing here? Oh my God, that's from Call the Blitz.
I'm going down, 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 down. Hi, Alex's mom. I just want you to, I just want you to know that Alex sent Justin Bieber over to my house to harass me. And, uh, and, uh, uh, I just want to inform you uh, of his behavior. And then here I was thinking, oh yeah, got Justin Bieber to sing for her. Now, oh yeah, cool, that, that had to fix so much. All right, all right. And due to her extreme lack of communication, it wasn't like, you know, until months later that I found out that sending Justin Bieber to sing for her only made things worse. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I actually sent Justin Bieber to my house to harass me. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's so bad. I hate him so much. All right, Alana. So why did you say I do? Well, I just said that because you were bugging me. Um, okay. Uh, and why did you spank the monkey? Well, because it asked me to. Okay. Um, and so why did you, um, why did you, uh, kidnap that fox? Because it forced me to. Huh. Uh, and, uh, why did you say that, uh, you, um, uh, 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 tried to kill Justin Bieber? Well, I just said, I just said that because you were bugging me. Huh. Oh. oh my god, you just assaulted me! How? Well, I just thought you were gonna punch me! But I... It doesn't matter, you created an apprehension in the mind of another. Well, I can't control what you fear. How? But I wasn't gonna punch you. But I thought you were! Uh, I, I shivered, it was cold. You created an apprehension! What are you, what are you talking about? My god, you assaulted me several days in a row! You mean just, just one time? What the, what are you talking about? Uh, I am so confused right now. Oh my god, you're harassing me! But, you, you keep talking to me! Okay, um, I, I just want to give you this? It's your phone? You dropped it? Oh my god! Just what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh... Huh. Alex is mine! Alex... Alex forced me to take my phone back! It forced me to take my own phone back! And they kept talking to me! He assaulted me several days in a row! And then, and then, he got these planes to write, I'm sorry, in the sky for me. He's, he's harassing me. I'm lonely, I'm so lonely, I have nobody for my own. Whoa. Uh, why, why did my first love of four years have to turn out to be so stupid? <laughs> And it's okay for her to walk by my house, but no, I can't walk by her house, even though she never told me not to walk by her house. I'm drowning, drowning in stupid. Oh, she's always playing victim, 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 victim. Oh my God. Okay, so, so so my new boyfriend, oh my god, oh my god, he he, he took me to Disneyland. Oh, he's so bad, and then he played the guitar for me, and he forced me to listen. 
You force me, because he asked me to listen. You force me to listen. And then I'll be guided. He, bought, he, pro, he proposed for me. He forced, he forced me to, to, to listen to him, propose to me. Why is my voice getting all weird? Why do I sound from, like Stuart from Mad TV? Oh my god, why'd you hit me? Oh my god, oh my god, why'd you hit me?